What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Matt. Got him on this new NBA 2K18 first video of the new 2K. But we got this best demigod build for y'all here right now, man. Make a point guard. Put the primary skill as passing and ball handling as seen right there. And the secondary one, put a shot creator, man. Because you can, you can dribble, you can pass, you can shoot. You can do it all, man. You can do it all. For me, I put the height at 6'6", six, because six, if you put it at like 5'7", or whatever, you're not going to be able to do anything. You can't. It's not going to be like a demigod build. Because if you make him like 5'7", you can't rebound, you can't block anybody's shot, you can barely play, play defense. It's going to be hard. So I put it at 6'6", six, six, just like every single year. Like I put it at 6'6", six, six, in NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17, and now 18. Because 6'6", six, six, and 6'7", six, is basically probably like the... The best height you could put it at to be like an all-around player. I'm all about all-aroundness and all that. So when I put it at six six, I can rebound, block people's shots, I can play defense, I can score, I can shoot, I can do it all, bro. I can do it all. But I guarantee you, you put a six six, you'll be a better build than probably half of the people out there, man. Don't put it at like look six three, cause six three. I mean, it's just probably just too small. It's just too small, bro. You can't really body anyone. You can't really do anything, man. But I'm gonna show y'all some gameplay. Right here for y'all right now. See, we out here in the park, man. You see my boy rocking that vape shirt. You already know, man. I, I love what 2K does in this game, bro. The gameplay kind of feels a little weird. But I think it's because my overall is like, it's not all the way up or whatever. But I think as the game progresses, I think they're going to change it and make it seem like it feels like 17 or 16, something like that. Uh, to make the game feel better. Because right now, it does feel... 25% of it feels like NBA Live a little bit, but overall the game's just been good. Um, I think if you're complaining about the game, I like it's. It, I think it's just probably perfect. I mean, I like you. You will see people making flu shots like that. Um, if you make a a dumb move or whatever to the paint and you put the ball up, you're gonna miss the layup. They don't. They don't do all the like fluke stuff this year. And if you try to like dunk on someone, lay the ball up. You won't, your hand won't like warp through the person to try to block it. Like it, it's realistic. It's like it's, it's almost realistic this year. Everything about it, the haircuts and all that. T-shirts that you can customize. Uh, I will be trying to make some uh, God of Game T-shirts, but it's just everything feels great about the game, bro. You see Jordan out here kicking over the Zay in the corner for the nice three right there, but. Every every build in this game is just, it's something different, bro. It's something different. Um, you always see someone in the park that's different than you, but everyone's making like a little playmaker, shot creator. This is probably like one of the best builds in the game. But right now I'm I'm just straight saucing, bro. You, you see I'm straight saucing. You see hold up, hold up, driving right to the basket. I was trying to do like a spin right there, didn't get the spin to go. But you see we still dropping buckets, bro. Sauce God all the way, man. Um, the dribble moves are a little different. I don't like how you can't really snatch back. I could have put the ball up right there, but you can't really snatch back. We see Jordan right there with the little jelly type layer, reverse layer right there, man. Getting saucy on it, man. Well, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a good, fun, interesting year this year, bro. It's gonna be real interesting. People are gonna be making glitches or whatever, and it's gonna like the grind gonna be real, bro. The grind gonna be real. I'm not gonna be really grinding for any overall. I'm just gonna be playing the game for real. But you see, I'm pulling up right there with the Lonzo shot, getting at the go. I still gotta learn that shot though, cause I still haven't got it really down for real. Um, the jump shots, I haven't really looked up like the best jump shots or whatever. But as of right now, people like saying Lonzo and KD. So that's what I'm really for real, for real, rocking with Lonzo right now. Um, I can't really time it. It's like. It just really depends on like where I'm at on the court. Like sometimes, like if I'm in the court, I'm getting nothing but greens. But if I'm at the top of the key, I'm not getting any types of greens. But they changed the game a lot, though. I mean, the shot mirror it feels different than last year. I don't really like the shot mirrors too much. But you see, I'm doing a little momentum. Look, sauce guy, sauce guy, dog getting it stolen right there. I try, try to spin or snatch back. I don't like how you can't really snatch back like or any time on the court. Cause sometimes I'll be driving and trying to snatch back and you just. My player just keep on going straight, but overall this game is straight. I don't, I don't really. They just need to like change a couple things, but for like the outside stuff, like the barber shop and all that, the tattoo and stuff. But stuff, but stuff in this game is like a lot, like it's expensive. Like tattoos, like they go for a thousand. They jump from like two hundred to like a thousand. Like 
no one I'm not gonna be spending a thousand VC on just one tattoo. I mean they should like have like a whole sleeve as a as a thousand VC. But stuff is going for a lot though. I mean shoes cost six thousand. But designer shirts, I like that. Um how they changed it and let you like create your own shirts and you like you have to vote for them. But I could have pulled it right there. You see I'm saucing up, saucing up. Oh, look at the dump off. Look at the straight dump off. I'm out here playmaking out here, man. But it's already 18-8, man. We finna cap off this game for real. But you see, I'm, I'm always about to like I'm always about to get dropped in this game. I'm thinking I might get dropped every single time someone comes down the court. But people still grinding for the ankle breaker badge, bro. It's still it's still action. People still grinding for the ankle breaker. You, oh, hold up, Sauce God, Sauce God. You know what I'm saying, bro? I still can't be guarded in this game, man. Still can't be guarded. Top ten all around player in 18, man. It was top ten all around player 16 and 17, and I could probably prove that. I'm still clamping people up. I can play defense probably even better, but it's like when people go past me, my player just starts to glitch and like I just start like to float on the dude i don't know what they doing with that bro it's like it, it feels like nba live especially when i'm playing defense it feels like nba live because i can't clamp someone for like a whole 24 seconds it, my player just starts to give up or whatever and like if he like the opponent just starts driving past me it's like he already beat me and i'm already like he's already to the basket but we see we about to already cap off the game man 22 10 had nine points, three rebounds. We only missed once in this game, too. Zay only just missed the, uh, that mid-range. We only missed once. Whole team went 10 for 11, bro. We was just straight saucing. But like, share, subscribe, comment. Hope you like the video.